Hey guys, it's Nathan from Rookbooks here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm doing a series at the moment of uh, some heavy metal singers, uh, particularly the female leads. So this week I've got Alyssa from Arch Enemy. And this time again, just like the, the Taylor Momsen I did, I started with a sketch in my sketchbook and brought it into Photoshop and am redoing it, trying to get a, a perfect likeness. So to do that, what I did was um, I brought the sketch in, went over the top of it, and really paid attention to the, the measurements. I went over the top of it. See, I, I lasso tooled over the eyes, for example, and moved them down a bit. Uh, this time I actually spent a little bit longer in the sketch phase. Uh, it's a really dynamic sort of expression on the face, and I have a lot of trouble with that normally. But then I, I jumped back into a similar process as the uh, Taylor Momsen I did where I'm still using the sketch brush, uh, the little uh, sketch drawing brush that I had been using. Uh, I'm actually laying down a lot of the values with that as well. Uh, so I switch over to the, the white, uh, but then I take a page out of Dave Greco's book as usual and uh, threw down some values with the overlay, uh, figured out the lighting with the overlay layer, and then jump straight into color. Once I had the color down, I felt like the piece was really starting to come together and I could start seeing where, how it was looking and where the realism was. I mentioned in a previous video that I get kind of lost when I stare at the same image for a while and a great uh, technique to get over that is flipping the canvas, which I do not do nearly enough. Uh, but even when I do, I've, I find I still uh, can't quite tell how realistic I've got the, the image and uh, you know what needs to be done to, to fix things up. Overall, um, I really enjoyed this piece. Um, I was kind of on a roll, I think, uh, since the, the Taylor Momsen. I was really proud of that one, uh, really happy with it, and that led straight into this one as well. Just jumped straight in. I, I didn't really pause or anything. I, th I think I took only one break with this uh, particular piece. The, the, skin, the skin tones really just made sense to me. Um, I was able to blend them uh, quite well. The hair, again, I challenged myself by just doing, just using a, the same brush. I didn't use any kind of specialty brushes or anything like that. And I have a lot of fun with colored hair, particularly blue hair. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, I just recently did a, a Super Saiyan Vegeta that had the blue hair, so that was really fun. Um, and this one was very cool because she actually has teal color and dark purples as well that kind of bleed through and, and create some points of interest within the, the entire piece itself. One of the challenges with that was making sure that the values and the color matched up properly. So there was a lot of uh, sort of white over the top, but it had to be careful because I didn't want it to actually make it look white. I didn't want her hair to be white. I wanted that to be the value, not the color. So once I had that down, um, I went back over and um, jumped into the finer details, uh, the eyes being one of the main focal points of the piece. So I wanted to make sure that I gave enough detail into there, even though from the, the source image, they're quite dark and there's not a lot of detail in that image, even though it's quite a high quality image. So that was my own kind of artistic license I took with that. I think with every piece, you should add your own sort of artistic flair. I think color was really important in this piece because, especially with the background, I had a completely different idea of what it was going to be like. And the background lighting would drastically affect and change the colors uh, and the color choice that I would put into the hair, the skin and everything. So um, making sure that I added a lot of the color that around the mouth um, it was still looking quite gray so I had to throw in a lot of a lot more reds uh, to keep that tone alive um, which then of course meant that I had to go back over the, the lips as well um, because the lips needed to be a different color hue. And the teeth were definitely a massive challenge they um, are, they're quite perfect, uh, these, these teeth, at least in, in that image that I'm copying. So it would have been simpler if it was just some, you know, monster teeth.
And then I had to think about the, the rest of the pose. Um, and so I had this idea that you know, she'd be uh, this bending towards the camera, really angry, uh, you know, flexing. Uh, but it didn't really work for me. Um, I tried a, different, a, a few different ways of putting that together. And she just ended up looking kind of like the Hulk or something. And it really wasn't what I was going for for this piece. I, I wanted it to be a bit more dark and evil, not a not, uh, big muscly monster. So I played around with the background a lot. But this will be part of a, a much larger piece as well. So the rest of the, the figure will come out in your project as well. And that's it for this piece, guys. Uh, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.